All right, we are live, guys. Uh, let me see. I'm having a few technical difficulties. I apologize. Uh, greetings. Uh, this is Dave Seiler and Ernie Atwell. You talk. <laughs> I'm going to talk. You go talk. Let's take two. Yeah, we, we were having some technical difficulties about getting on. but uh, He was having technical I was. difficulties about getting on. Anyway, we'd like to welcome everybody to episode two of Step Into the Paranormal with Paranormal Inc. Brought to you by WLFEDB Radio Network. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I apologize for, for being late tonight. Um, I don't know why it's, it's giving me a little bit of attitude on here. and. Oh. Now we're having more, more more fun on this. So, um, you know, we want to basically thank a few people. First of all, let's start by saying thank you to uh, Mike King for being our special guest last week. Yeah, what a, what a way to kick off our debut episode. What better guest and skeptic than Mike himself, you know? And um, also, very dear friend of ours celebrating her 15th birthday today, Jadence. Happy birthday from Dave and I and everybody in the paranormal family. So when you see her on Facebook, see her in person, see her at the bash, an event, anywhere, tell Jaden's happy belated birthday. All uh, right, very good. We're, I'm just checking on the feed to make sure that you guys can hear us okay because we're getting a little bit of static and feedback here. Um, but, uh, you know, um, at this point, you know, you know, um, you know we, we, this is our second show, stage two. And I apologize, we're trying to do everything professional, but of course, anything that can go wrong will go wrong at the worst time. You know how that works. So I heard you uh, ran into somebody the other night. I did. Um, I actually ran into Dan Class. I was up uh, scouting out a location for me to go investigate at, and you and I to go investigate at. And I actually ran into him and some of his family up there. Um, it was really cool. And uh, he was actually investigating the venue that I was actually scoping out to investigate for us in October. Looking forward to seeing uh, seeing you, Dan and Chelsea, in a few weeks at the Bash. Um, it's always good hanging out. We love you guys. Definitely, definitely. Ernie, I now I got a red flashing light. Ah, here we go again. EBS. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. All right, Ernie, apparently we've got an emergency broadcast coming in. Uh, we have breaking news out of Gettysburg. I'm being told by our sources we have paranormal royalty trying to contact us. Um, let's go to the field where uh, sources say Pam and Steve Berry from Gettysburg Ghost Exchange is now live with Paranormal Link. Hi, and welcome to the show, guys. Hey, Pam. Hey, Steve. Can you guys hear us? Apparently not. <laughs> Even more fun. Let me see. Hey, Steve, can you hear us? Oh, turn your volume back on. You're still muted, Steve. Steve, turn your volume back on. <laughs> He's talking to us. If anyone can read lips. <laughs> Here, let me just do this. I'm going to call her. Uh... Hey, there you go. Let's let's turn the Skype thing off. Can you guys hear us okay now? Yeah, you did it fine, fine. Let me shut the Skype off. There you go. I'm trying to Skype off too. Maybe that's what's uh, causing all the lag and everything. I don't think it's you. I think it's uh, things have something to do with the computer. I think she's got an overload of junk in this thing, and that's why uh -huh. it does it. Because every time she uses her computer for Skype, this is what happens. I switched to mine, but I don't have mine here. No worries. Yeah, we we we've been having technical difficulties the whole way through, but. We're trying to make it good, so hopefully we're live and hopefully people can hear us. So, so tell us a little bit about what's going on up your end of the world, uh, Gettysburg Ghost Exchange. Yeah, Pam. Hey guys. Hey, what's up, Pam? Hey, just uh, you know, working at the just welcome welcome some guests into the historic lookout house just now. Awesome. So, what's up with you guys? We want to hear about this little store called the Gettysburg Ghost Exchange. All right. <laughs> so the store is at 1015 Bottomer Pike. 
owned by Steve and Pam Barry. Um, we have become the largest paranormal equipment store in the Northeast, so if you want it, we can get it for you usually. Um, I had a small little Reiki room, but Steve and Paratronics have taken over my Reiki room, oh, and they no. are going to be manufacturing paranormal equipment out of our room, out of my Reiki room. <laughs> <laughs> so now, if people want Reiki, my clients have to come to the Lookout House. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah. But how, how's it go? How's it going at the Lookout House? I can't wait to come back up there. Uh, it's going really well. We just had the Ghost Brothers here a couple weeks ago. We um, we had the Travel Channel in. They did some filming. We were built in 1838. The Confederate Army was in the attic in the basement because we were Adams County Nursery. So they knew that there would be some food and fruit here. We also have a, um, a one-room schoolhouse in the property that's been on the property since 1858. So uh, we've, and we were also Bendersville Station, so we were a train station for, um, for a long time. So there's a lot of different layers of energy here, um, a lot of different things going on at every level. We have a limestone well in the basement, um, you know, investigate and stay, step back in time with us, we say. Tell, if you could, Pam, Tell our viewers exactly what your role or what your title is at the Lookout House. Well, I'm just an innkeeper um, taking care of this magnificent piece of history. I think that's all of our titles um, as when we step um, into Gettysburg or any historic place. You know, we're, they, these places are going to be standing long after we're gone. Exactly. Long after we'll be home them now so i'm just a caretaker of history i do i do have to um for those that haven't had the opportunity or pleasure to uh stay there or investigate or simply just visit um i have to tell you when i was there what was it about a month or two ago when i was there with Lori johnson i guess about two months yeah that's my yeah i tell you it well exceeded my expectations um I mean, it was, I mean, you know how it is being a paranormal investigator and, you know, we all go out at night and we're investigating these, um, you know, these locations. And a lot of times, you know, it's not the best conditions that we're in. Um, this is true. You know, especially with the weather and, uh, you know, all the elements, but, you know, investigating the lookout house, it, it, it was so different, not only welcoming um you know just because of uh how you and steve and everyone treats the guests that come there but i mean just the um the house itself i mean it was almost like investigating a museum and the comfort level i can't even express the comfort level it, it made for such an investigation and the activity was unreal that night that uh Lori and I were there. I mean, we, we had so much fun. And I noticed you had a group there the other night. And um, one of the, the, the guests mentioned that, if correct me if I get this wrong, but she was staying in the Americana room. Am I saying that correctly? Uh-huh. Yes. When, some of the, when we were there, some of the group was up in the attic. And I stayed down in like the sitting area that sets off from the Americana room. Now, myself and one other guest that didn't want to go up in the attic, we were standing there talking and I actually seen a full dark shadow walk by the doorway to the entrance of the Americana room. And I mean, it completely blew my mind. Unfortunately, I didn't you know, I didn't have a camera set up, you know, because we were just there. But that was, uh, that was pretty exciting, you know? Um, yeah, that was the, um, the nursery. We had, camera unfortunately, up, five know, children because we were just there. in the house. Um, that, two of them was, uh, passed away in December, exciting. both one yeah. on December 28th and one on December 30th. Right, right. Now... Let's talk about a little event you have coming up. Um, 
I can't it's believe it's a tiny it's, event, not a little event. It's a tiny event. I can't <laughs> believe it's a little tiny, little tiny. I can't event. believe it's been a year already, but you know our our schedule, at, everybody's schedule last year. We were all over the place, and I have yeah. to tell you, last year was our first year for the second Gettysburg Battlefield Bash. And it was awesome. The event of all events. Um, yeah. You guys, I can't even begin to tell you what you and Steve and everyone that was involved, what you guys put into and the results of the Gettysburg Bash. But I mean, it was one for the record books. And it is coming up, what, in like two weeks, three weeks? Don't remind me. <laughs> it, 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 is, it is coming up July 26th, 27th, 28th. It really is coming up. And we've added a lot of stuff to the bash this year. Yeah, I've been, I've been following the progress. I see, yeah, yeah. It's I, I, To be quite honest, I mean, last year was Paranormal Inc.'s first time there. And honestly, I can't see how it can be any better. I, I don't know how you guys are going to outdo yourself in comparison to last year. I mean, it, it was that good. And I'm so glad the year flew by and it's almost time again. I do have butterflies in my stomach, I can tell you that. Um, this uh, year... It doesn't, it doesn't roll perfectly. Um, it rolls perfectly when you have the right volunteers. Yeah. Right. Right. And the right volunteers. And just, it's not. It, it's just not Pam and I that do this. It's all the volunteers that step up and, and help us out. Oh, I know. If we didn't have them, you wouldn't be able to pull it off. So right. We oh, can't no. take all the, the credit for it. It's, it's, it's a team effort. Right, right. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I know everybody that's involved in everything that you guys go through and everything you do, and it, it's amazing. I mean... It, it was beyond it was beyond belief. I never when we went there last year, I never in a million years expected it to be what it turned out to be. I mean, we were so fortunate and honored to be a part of it, and we're looking forward to it that much more this year, you know, because I, I know the the things you've added and the changes that you've made. and um, I can tell you everybody's looking forward to it, no matter what event we're at or we or we host or whatever. Somehow, the, the main topic of discussion always ends up being the Gettysburg Battlefield Bash. Well, we always, every year we change it. Um, things have changed this year. Uh, there's one band playing instead of eight. We have the uh, singer from The Voice coming, mm -hmm. Olivia. I don't want, I can't never say her last name right, so forgive me. Um, I'm not going to say because I can't say it right. Um, we went with more of a DJ style. The reason why we did that is because it gave the people from we listen to what people say, and a lot of people are saying they want to hear different types of music. So this a DJ is the best thing to have, is because he, they can play any type of music you want to hear. Right. Yep. So so we did that. We uh, took away the stage and we went up onto the pavilion in the back of the Wyndham this year. Mm -hmm. So the stage will not be out there. It'll everything will be played off the pavilion. Uh, the, the big back porch there where all the chairs were. Mm -hmm. um, that's where everything is. That's where the bands wanted to play in the first place instead of down by the parking lot. And this way, if people want to dance and stuff, we're going to rope off that area down below and they can just crank it out. Right. So nice. The window will have the bar out there and everything else for them out in the patio and they'll be able to enjoy themselves for that karaoke contest for, for that we have. Friday night. For the people that are listening um, now, can you go over the, because I know the hours have changed from last year. Can you go over the yes. hours again, please? Was, was Steve um, drove the people insane last year <clears throat> by uh, opening doors at 10 o'clock and then closing them at 10 o'clock at night. Right. That didn't allow the vendors to leave their table or go out and have dinner and get to see the town. Right. So, I decided to open it at 12 this way every morning they can sleep in if they want to go out and run around town and close it at six right so it's gonna be six hours for you to go see the vendors and the stars and everything else there and it makes it a lot easier um where people can go out and rest and then if they want the band will start at six o'clock on saturday night 
and I'll be able to go to, from six to ten out in the parking lot and party with the band and right and uh, you know the, the other singer that's going to be there and <clears> also when the band gets tired we have the DJ sitting on standby so it's going to be one big fun time yeah it does the the hours it, it kind of does work out because I know just exactly like you were saying um, you know like last year when the event shut down I, I was so exhausted I went to my room and. Dave decided to, right. to hang out and stuff, and then you know we were back up early and what whatnot. But uh, yeah, so yeah, that, I'm that gonna makes give a lot the vendors, I'm gonna give the vendors an opportunity. Uh, Friday, people get off work late if they want to stay, and but it's all gotta be voted on at our meeting. I always have a meeting before we open up on Friday. Um, I'm gonna have a raise of hands if someone wants to. If if the whole, it's gotta be the whole venue area wants to stay open to like seven instead of six. Right. Because some people on Friday get home at five, six o'clock, the time they go see everyone. They might have some other plans for the weekend, so they might want to jump in. Right. If I close at six, that's when they're just staying home from work. Yeah. So, so we'll, we'll take a vote to stay open at seven or eight o'clock that night. You if mean they want to the do very, the same thing. The very first night stay open later. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, Saturday sense. people can get in there. Because yep. actually, you know, some... because some people are getting home from work. Yeah, I just want to give those people that only have Friday right to get there that they get a chance to see who they want to see. They, they may get off at work at five and say, "Heck, I'm not going to make it." The time I get there, it's going to be six o'clock. They're going to be shut down, and uh, I'm not going to see the star I wanted to see. And so plus, some I'll of, some of the everybody. vendors, some of the vendors might not be able to get there till. You know, fortunately, you know, we're able to get there first yeah. thing in the morning, but some vendors might not be able to get there until five, five o'clock at night, you know? Right. There is a couple that already told us that, um, which we're aware of. Right. Set up time for vendors is to be set up before uh, 12 o'clock on Friday. So we're going to open the doors at 12 o'clock. What? Okay. So, um, what time on, on Friday for the, for the vendors now? What what time can the vendors arrive at the uh, at the location? Eight o'clock. What time? Eight o'clock. They eight o'clock. They can arrive at the at the Wyndham. Okay. On Friday and set up. I didn't. There's so many doors to the Wyndham. We had no problem with people getting in and getting set up. Oh right, right, uh, right. There's that big stretch in the back that they can all park, or they can park on that where Blackout was parked in the Batmobile. Mm -hmm. They can unload there, go right up in the carts are right there. You can grab the cart. So we'll have from eight till eight till we'll have from eight till noon to set up, right? Oh yeah, yeah, eight to twelve, twelve o'clock, open the doors. Right, right. Um, about how many vendors is it this year, Steve? We have we went from thirty to sixty to ninety vendors this year. Wow. What yeah, about? Yes, so there's ninety vendors. We are sold out. Wow, that, that's awesome. And what? And how much is the admission again for those that are coming? It's uh ten million eight hundred seventy three dollars and twenty three cents. <laughs> it's ten dollars for the whole weekend. Ten dollars. That ain't oh, for, for the whole weekend. For the whole weekend. Wow. You pay us ten dollars. You walk in Friday. You can use it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You don't pay no more. Wow. That's the awful. reason why we do. That, let me tell you why we do that. The reason why we do that is because one, we want you to spend some money with Don't your vendors that are, that came. All right. Uh, Give them, you know, let them make some money. And that puts money in your pocket to get yourself a shirt or get some item you want from a vendor right. or whatever. Right. Also, it gives you an opportunity to give to the charities that are there. We have the truck blackout. We have the Batmobile. We're releasing a new vehicle this, that I had built. And we have Agent Orange truck and we have a Brian Renner's EM, EMT truck there. All those guys drive and bring their cars exactly. there. And there's a lot of on these vehicles now so it's a lot of gas it takes blackout 74 dollars to go from chambersburg to gettysburg wow now tell everyone right. what the the whole gettysburg bash tell everyone what that is uh what that benefits what that's for well let me tell you this that it benefits uh pa wounded warriors and kids, kids that are critically ill, so kids with cancer, right. leukemia, um, uh, you know, any childhood disease out there, right? It covers. Right. Um, with the, and, the whole um, Gettysburg also, bash. it's about we have a bullying program uh -huh. uh, through the 
day traits, but and you know, there's so much um, Batman does for the kids. He's right. got four different programs, right. and he'll explain that. I don't want to take a life flight from him right now, but he'll explain to the people at the bash his program. Yeah, and um, for those that wasn't at the bash last year, if you go on to our website paranormalinc.net, there's a a uh, link to our YouTube channel. Yeah. It's right here at the bottom. <laughs> And you can click right on our YouTube. We have videos up there um, with the children and things like that from last year's bash. So take a uh, take a look at that. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Is uh, yeah, it, I, I can't wait, Steve. It's it's pretty exciting, man. I can't. But believe we it this year we added uh, a kid zone out in front. The kid zone will be where you enter into the Wyndham. There's gonna be a big tent. Remember where the helicopter was? Yeah. Right in front of helicopters can be a big tent. Right. This way, the kids can go play in the helicopter, and they'll they'll be in tent. They'll be face painting. There'll be games out there for them to win prizes, and uh, it doesn't cost them nothing. They just go out there and enjoy themselves. Right. They'll get their face painted and uh, fake tattoos and body is, paint. And is there? There'll be games out there for them to play. And can you look? And we were missing that for the past two years. People, you know, we did had a lot of adult stuff, but nothing for the kids. Is there? So uh, we, as as far as the kids zone, is there a age or weight limit? Because I'm going to have my hands <laughs> full trying to beat Dave at our table. There's no, there, there's no bounce out so. though. Insurance reasons. Uh, that way. I can tell you, my, my daughter Grace is looking forward to this so much, and also seeing SOS Team Paranormal Camp there, uh, seeing Sue Whittle and Jaden. Yes. Happy birthday, Jaden. Let, let, let me give a shout out to SOS Camp. SOS Camp offered to help us out this year with the Kids Camp. Yeah, they're amazing. Which I think it's awesome. yeah. Kids Zone. Or Kids Zone, I mean. Um, Kids Zone, yeah, right. Um, yeah, actually, we just spoke to Jody uh, about a half hour ago. Um, those kids are amazing. Yeah, I'm they really you. are. They yeah. really are. Jody and, and and Patty and Brian and the other folks. They work. Yep, they, they all work they do hard a, with They those do kids. a heck they of a job, that. man. That, that's such a they, good. They, uh, they do a terrific job with those kids. That's such a good program. And we were actually uh, at the beginning uh, a few months ago. We we were uh, fortunate enough to investigate the Emig House with them. And right. uh, Dave and myself and Mike King, we went up there and spent the day with them. And we had such a good time and went out to eat afterwards. And that's such a, I wish, because I, you know, I've been in this field for a while. And man, I wish something was was around like that when I was young, you know, out there right. trying to do research. And it's just amazing what they do, man. And I, I can't give them enough credit for that. And them kid, the kids are so nice and it's awesome. I can't wait to see them. Hey, Steve, tell everybody. Yeah. Tell everybody just uh, a few of the uh, A gamers that's going to be at the bash this year. Um, we have Scott Porter coming. Who else do we have? Pam. Let Pam talk for a minute. Hey, hi, Miss Pam. So we have Scott. Here. We've got uh, Mark Nesbitt, who's our local historian. Um, we've got a lot of people. We've got. Um, uh, Dustin's they, coming um, back, right? I know. There's there's so many people. We've got we've got we've got Dustin. Um, we've got Lori Johnson. We've got an Ink Master coming. Um, yeah, Tony Deville. <laughs> Tony Deville. Yep. Yeah, he's he's a amazing guy. Yeah, uh, we've got Carmen Reed, and I love her story. Carmen Reed tells about a haunting in Connecticut, and she tells it from the perspective of being. Um, a mom and what she went through trying to protect her children. She will be speaking. Uh, please don't ask me the time because um, I can't tell you the Yeah, I saw time. the itinerary. It's a big one. Yeah, she it she gives an amazing. Um, she gives she gives you an amazing lecture. Right. Um, we've got Daniel Police. We've got Jim Backus. We've got Jeff Leeper. We've got Jim Crutt, the helicopter zombie from Dawn of the Dead. Right, right. He's, Jack yeah. Kenna. Everybody knows Jack Kenna. Um, we've we've just got we've got John Ruggiero and Chris who do New Jersey Para Unity, and they do an amazing um, Paracon um, that you should not miss. Right. It's it unites the field, and it's amazing. Um, we have Bob Christopher, who has his con coming up the weekend before us. Don't miss it. Um, that's Penhurst. We've got 
Adam Bonnet, who um, is nicknamed the glider, he is in a wheelchair and he tells his perspective of how it is to be in a wheelchair and investigating, mm. investigating without limits, like beyond wow. limits. Right. Uh, he's amazing. Uh, Richard Estep. Oh my gosh, he's one of my favorite authors. Uh, we've got Nitty and Pretty and Gritty. And then we've got John, we've got um, John, our uh, Batman, um, who will be taking some kids maybe for a ride, lots of pictures, lots of... Um, John Buckland. Um, yeah, um, I, yep. I want to give a plug for uh, H4H Foundation. Um, yes. Uh, in the last year, I've been really associated with John trying to help the cause out and... Um, Guys, you got to go on to the h h Foundation. Just go, just Google it. He, um, Heroes for Hope. Um, this guy is actually taking um, a um, mor second mortgage out on his computer. Or on his computer. On his um, <laughs> Sorry. We know what's your mind. What's your <laughs> mind on day? Set second mortgage out on his home to actually support this venue. It is a real nonprofit. He has gotten his um, a nonprofit oh. certificate. And he does awesome stuff for kids. Um he gives them hope. He inspires them. He gives them takeaways. He gives them rides in the Batmobile, yep. as well as he buys for the families. God, God forbid that a child passes away, he actually purchases yep. their coffin for them. Um, our hero Connor, you know, he purchased a beautiful, um, you know, way to lay, lay this child to rest. God bless. Um, Shout out to Connor and, we and, miss and you. the family. We really miss you, Connor. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they do a lot and they need your help. So look up uh, Heroes for Hope Foundation. That they're, they're an awesome, awesome, awesome cause. Um, let's see some of our other special guests. We've got. Uh, I heard this guy. Out. I heard this guy named Steve Barry's going to be there. Is that true? Steve Barry and guy's horrible. And yeah. Anthony Holmes will be doing their. Um, I almost threw him out last year. That guy. Yeah, he was he was a bit of I kept my eye on him. He was a bit of a troublemaker. We got Bob for this year's Um Anthony and Steve will be doing their almost gone guys. That's awesome. Um, they almost kick the bucket, we call it, because they've both um seen seen near have had near death and seen things and try to empower us because uh, we're all going to be there one day, but, you know, and most of us have lost loved ones. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah, if you haven't, uh, for those watching, if you haven't listened to Anthony and Dina Holmes. They're awesome. You need to uh, attend their, their, their lecture if you go to the Bash. Mm -hmm. Amazing couple. Um, great friends of all of ours. And they're just always nice to hang out with and chat with. They, they're so knowledgeable and do such good work in this field and we need more people mm -hmm. like that we really do yeah. and i know i've left some people out um yeah. dave giuliano um eric julian you eric, know, eric we love you every bro. year our volunteers and you know he whips everybody in the shape he's trouble too I'm <laughs> i saw a i tell you what i was looking at them pictures of eric with uh jenny mccarthy Aren't they? Oh, you They're should, cool. You think that's, you should see where Eric got. He went, this guy goes out to these places. I haven't posted yet. No, I'm not going to say. He went out to these places and he got some, what do you call it, stuff? Metrobilia? Yeah, you know, I, I, like said. I saw a few yeah, photos he got that he posted. He's amazing what he gets done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, Eric always cracks me up, yeah, man. He, I love him. He's, yeah. he's fun. He always cracks me but, up. This year, we're having 90 vendors. The first year, we had 30. Second year, last year, we had 60. Wow. And this year, we're having um, I could have sold more tick, more um, vending space, but the ballroom only holds so many. So I just want to say, you know, thank you to the volunteers. Thank you to the vendors. Thank you to people who are coming to buy a ticket. All the vendors. Every vendor that's been with the bash from day one. Right. Yep. Uh, every... Every person has volunteered from day one. Well, you guys um, missed a huge thank you. Thank you to you guys for yeah. organizing oh, this. Oh, no. You, that, God bless. Amazing job. Amazing job. I am a veteran, well, I and I am about. proud. I am utterly proud to be a part of this. Thank you. What I want to talk about is what's being built right now. We are building a tribute vehicle 
for the bash, which is what is a, the bash is about. This car is coming out amazing. It's all airbrushed. Um, the person that's airbrushing it um, has done work for Richard Petty's cars, NASCAR. Mm. Um, so the, the paint job on this car is amazing what's going on. Um, it's honoring our soldiers and it's honoring our kids uh, with serious illness. Wow. Nice. So it, it's all about with the bash. It will be revealed after Connor's run around 12, 1230 on Saturday, 27. Right. We will cover off it huh. and let everyone see what we built. Are they bringing, um, are they bringing McKenna down again this year? Yeah. Uh, yes, McKenna will be there. And we're, we're looking right now and hoping if there's anyone that wants to bring a child that was serious illness that we can give ho more hope to. Right. That'd be great. That, Just uh, contact me at 570-647-6884. We are not turning any child away. If we have 20 kids there, the better it is. Let me tell you, Steve, because when... You know all the people that attended the bash last year. And, you know, despite the fact that the money goes to the Wounded Warriors of PA and, you know, everyone's there that loves the, the paranormal industry, I can honestly tell you, and I'm going to try to say this without getting choked up, when Batman came in and... <laughs> When, I'm rubbing him on his back to make him look when, better. When Batman came <laughs> in and did that that run around the uh, ballroom yes. with McKenna, yes. I, 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 I can honestly tell you, I don't know if I've ever experienced something so touching. I mean, everybody from guests to the stars of mm -hmm. TV was on their feet. Bound down to the kids. Yep. Clapping, yep. cheering. And I remember Batman said that toward the end, I think they had like a lap to go yep. or two laps. Yep. And he asked McKenna if she wanted to walk. And she was like, no, we're going to finish this yep. running. Yep. I mean, it, it was just, at, I think the video is on our YouTube channel. That was just so inspiring. Yep. I mean, when I got home from the bash and Ruby asked me how everything was and 50 million questions the first thing i told her was you got to watch this video of mckenna and i mean ruby just immediately started crying 10 yeah. seconds into the video i mean it, it was just amazing yeah it's just ugh. and then what's the, the date for a minute what got uh, me was when blackout <laughs> and all the trumpets and horns played caps and you see guys from you know 75 80 years old all the way down to children just crying yeah. to the pow mia and then when connor did his ride afterward and one of his brother with batman my just yeah i lost it i yeah. just literally lost it yeah connor would not take that ride without his brother yep. yeah 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 yep but it's such i mean just wait wait, wait. i gotta do something James, you're actually right. Um, we had to give uh, Ernie a booster seat. That's why. Yeah, look, hey, man, I'm fine. <laughs> if I posted the pictures from last year, and other than Mike King, everybody was taller than me at the bash and sitting at this table. I'm on a, I got a booster chair, so I'm bigger than Dave tonight. <laughs> oh, man, if we could curse on this show, yeah, I'd be I know. cussing Amen. at you right now. Amen. Love you, too. But... <laughs> but Back to what we were saying, I mean, just what the bash represents. I mean, you know, I can't stress enough that this field that we're in is controversial and not everybody looks at it in a positive light like we all do. So despite the fact that you have all these paranormal enthusiasts gathered in one spot, all that love, all that energy... People giving their whole weekend, whether you're paying to get in, whether you're the many, many, many volunteers that help Pam and Steve pull this off. I mean, everyone's love and everyone's energy is there for one reason. And when I say one reason, I'm including it all in one. The paranormal, you know, contributing to the wounded warriors, contributing to the children yep. does that make sense it does and it, it's just it's so it's <laughs> overwhelming we, man. we need eight seconds for a commercial break because we missed it so count off hey steve hold the thought for a second
Okay. You've been listening to Step Into the Paranormal with Ernie Atwell and David Seiler. Oh, okay. We break's done. We can talk more. <laughs> we're, we're waiting to get sponsors. That that break will get longer as we get sponsors. Hey, but... Steve, I have a very important question. Sure. And I don't mean to catch you off guard. Yes. What kind of food are we having? The important things in life. We're only having English muffins. <laughs> we're having um, pulled pork from one place. Then Ooh. we're having um, pretzel sandwiches that um, Eric got. Oh, my so gosh. Like pretzel. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. And then we got a taco truck coming. Taco. Ooh. Oh, man. Yeah, All right. So we got taco, and he's really good. So, yeah, we got that. We had a guy <clears throat> from Missouri that was supposed to come and do open cooking out there, uh, Cajun food and stuff. But he said, yeah, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. And then we haven't heard. We tried calling him and everything else and no answer. So well, I got, we moved on to the taco truck. I got to give a so. quick, I got to give a quick shout out, not only to the Wyndham for, you know, hosting th- this event for everyone, but I got to tell you the three days or whatever that, that I stayed there last year for the bash, Every morning I went to the restaurant <coughs> yeah. bright and early and <coughs> and we had the uh buffet. Breakfast buffet. Oh, that man good. was it, yeah, it was amazing. Shout out to the window for that breakfast yeah, buffet. You, you did a good job. And Linda that works yeah. at the restaurant. Yeah. We will see you soon, <laughs> you sweetie. Beat me to it. You beat we me are to looking it. forward to seeing you and you can sit us in our normal spot. Yep, yep, yep. The spot close to the buffet yeah. table. <laughs> yeah. Next to the trough. <laughs> right next to the trough. <laughs> Now, hey, don't forget, everybody, that's going to the Bash. The Bash is only right down the street from the... Or Steve, are you opening the Ghost Exchange at all during that time? Or No. Ah. No. Ah. All right, well, that, I'm now, sure you'll have some... I, I, I can't leave that, that building. I, I must stay there because just make sure everything stays under control. Hey. If I leave... Um, I may take a... See, I don't have my limo out in the road yet because I've been so busy... Um, with the Airbnb and most important, building this tribute car, I haven't even got my limo inspected to go out in the road this year. Hey, um, I, I got a I got a quick story, Steve. This is funny. You you guys were were there um, last year sometime. I don't even think it was a year. I was with uh, Steve and Pam and james houston and we were all if you remember we were all down at the restaurant getting something to eat before the event uh whatever event we were hosting kicked off and steve got an alert on his phone that someone just got into the gettysburg ghost exchange and it was closed oh geez so we're watching this character on the camera all right and steve's making some phone calls all right we solved the crime man what it, happened? It was Eric Julian. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> Eric, <laughs> kicking doors, man. <laughs> hey, I know this is a little premature, but if you guys want to talk for a few minutes, I'd like to bring up the world's largest ghost hunt this year. Sure, absolutely. I'll, I'll turn Where's that over to you, Pam. Where's that being held at? Got the story answered yet? <laughs> <laughs> so world's largest we're looking forward to it we are um we're up for just about anything we've got the schoolhouse outside we've got um the outside yard uh with a lot of residual a lot of some person time and we've got the whole historic lookout house uh, it's going to be so, amazing yeah we're going to charge an admission and then we have to talk about um maybe we'll see if batman himself can come how do you what would you guys feel about that? That would be awesome. Absolutely. We wouldn't want anyone okay. else. Absolutely. All right. And then um, we will help some critically ill children during World's Largest Ghost Hunt. Awesome. Let me... Heroes or higher. And we'll make Batman stay in his outfit the whole night so he's sweating his butt off. <laughs> let, me just, let me just say this much. Last year, um, for those that don't know, World's Largest Ghost Hunt, what it is, it's simulcast around the world. Um, last year it was in 19 countries. I believe we were at 154 locations and it's one live 
Ghost Hunt. Shotgun start at 10 p.m. Eastern Central. And last year we were at the... Can I say where we were at, Pam? Yeah, absolutely. We were at the David Stewart Farm. Um, yeah. We, we were filming there. It was us, uh, Eric and Pam and Steve and the whole crew. A whole bunch of people. Well, it yeah. originally it wasn't open to the public. And some locations around the world, what they do is, you know, they open it up to the public. They come up with a foundation, and all the proceeds go to that foundation. So at that right. point, um, Connor was still with us, and we were fighting desperately to do everything we could to help this child. And Pam came up with the <coughs> idea, hey, let's open this up to the public. We'll charge like a $20 fee. And everyone yeah. shows up, you know, we're going to donate the money directly to Connor to, to try to get him. I believe it was for the some medicine. experimental medicine to try to help yeah. him. So we, we got that out there. And at the beginning of the night, of course, we're at the location bright and early and Dave's doing his tech guru thing. And I decided I had to run down to the haunted trails to check on something real quick. And I was joking. I handed you guys a... Cone. Like a construction cone. cone yeah. And I said, put this where my car is. Don't let nobody yeah. take my parking spot. <laughs> so I ran down. I checked in with a man named <laughs> Terry and um, Dave and everybody was down there. And I, I said my hellos and wished everybody good luck. I have to tell you what. When I returned back to the David Stewart farm, I guess it was about an hour before we went. Maybe it was longer than an hour before we went live. It was a freaking traffic jam parking lot yep it was the main road was a parking lot getting into the david stewart farm we were trying to find right? for any breathing body that we could i come mean in everyone day. pulled together that night and what was what was the final count pam we raised almost sixteen hundred dollars yeah i think so and Off i remember like dollar admission i mean it, it was it was yeah. amazing not to mention yeah. active i mean yeah. we got some great evidence that night yep you know, we uh, did. Christina yeah. Dowden, you can you can vouch for me on that. We came up with some. Yeah. Uh, and Christina Dowden is volunteering and helping with the kids zone. Just giving her a shout out too. Yay! Awesome. Yeah, that, that's so Christina. Yeah. Um, we met Christina last year. Um, you actually you were supposed to be with us that night, but uh, Steve was ill. Remember, there was that's right. four radio contestants. Yeah, there was a uh, radio contest in Pennsylvania, and the winner. Yeah. To investigate the Haldeman Mansion with Paranormal Inc. and the Gettysburg Ghost Exchange. And unfortunately. Yeah. Steve had to ruin it and go into the hospital. Yeah. yeah you're he, all heart, Steve. Thanks. He wanted to go in for sponge baths and jello. That's all. That's what it was. Nah. <laughs> but um, that's where we met Christina. She was one of the uh, contestant winners. And after that night, I mean, she was just like a paranormal junkie yep you know she completely got hooked yeah. like like we all do like we all i do. mean you know yeah that, that was the night i almost broke your nose yeah yeah we won't we, we we're yeah. not gonna talk, <laughs> not gonna talk about out, that. Right? He, he got in my way rule number one in ghost hunting don't run rule number two is accept if you're dave hey and he forgot that i role. think we should take up a collection and for tony deville can do a tattoo for dave <laughs> And on his forearm, there's going to, it's going to say, there's no running in ghost hunting. Except if you're Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Pam, Steve, you have uh, anything else? Last comments, questions? Um, Steve just went up to the cupola to open it up for our, um, our guests that just arrived. So you're stuck with me. I just want to say again, a big thank you. Please come out, support our PA Wounded Warriors and um, Heroes for Hire. Come out. And remember, when you see all of those uh, paranormal stars, they have donated their time to come because they believe in our cause. They have. And every vendor that's there, they believe in our cause. And um, don't forget, you're going to meet Helen Sager, president of PA Wounded Warriors. And she is an amazing lady. Um, the chief of police will be speaking, the mayor, Helen, and come out and meet Connor's family. Connor's family is going to have um, a table. They um, have a martial arts studio. So I know, Ernie, I know you're going to really like them and have a lot in common. All right. Um, 
So just come out and meet some people. You know, Chris Sanders is going to have some of his haunted objects. Yeah, um, that's always a shout good out time. to Chris. What's up, buddy? Hey, can't wait to see you. And Pam, why and we I got I... why we got you on the line real quick before we go? Um, uh -huh. For those that aren't close to Gettysburg like we are, I mean, travel distance, and you know, I'm always up and down, back and forth. And um, for those of you that don't know Pam and Steve. Awesome people. Let me tell you what. You will never meet such down-to-earth, good-hearted, honest people that have put so much... Into the community. Oh my just God. into the field, the yep. community. And I tell you what, Pam, if you all just took just an ounce of time and dedicated toward yourselves and, and your life the way you do other people, I mean... I've been, we've been best friends with you for a few years now, and every time I speak to you, you're always, well, I'm doing this for this person, I'm doing this for that group, I'm doing this for the, I mean, and, you know, we definitely need more people like you and Steve in yep. this field, because you, you're just so genuine, and so kind-hearted, and we just, we can't even begin to tell you how much we love you, and Steve, and Kendra, and Eric, and everybody up there. And we're, we're just so honored to call you guys friends. And, I mean, we just love doing everything we can with you guys. Well, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it Not very to much. mention, oh, Pam and what? I are from the same part of town, ain't we there, sweetie? That's right. Baltimore, hon. How you doing? <laughs> Baltimore. You don't want to go there now. You might be, uh, we're from Baltimore, hon. Duck! Duck. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, yeah the, um, the, oh, one more thing. Yeah. Um... We are looking for some more silent auction items. All right. Um, we have gotten some amazing things. Eric brought some things. Um, um, Mason Dixon Photography has donated an amazing portrait. Um, we have baskets. But we do need a few more things. So if anybody would love to donate to our silent auction, please feel free to give me a shout. Um, and we have three more days in our block. Just three more for you to get a discount at Room at the Wyndham. Um, so I'm going to be posting that this evening. Right. And it'll be published on my page. And um, So please go to that link. It doesn't charge your card at all. It just holds your room. And it'll give you that, that really good rate. If you're a veteran, it comes out to like $106 a night. Here's, you can't stay in Gettysburg in July. Yeah, I mean, it... Because, well, I, I mean, I booked my room, oh, my goodness, probably almost half a year ago, as soon as you yep, so but, posted. And, yeah, the, the, the discount that we get is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. You know, actually, so I'll tell you what. I, I enjoyed the Wyndham so much that last year, you remember, Pam, when we all went up to the, was it the Capitol Theater for the Spirits Through Time with Ghost Pit? Mm -hmm. I actually stayed in the Wyndham that weekend. Did you? I don't blame you. They really, they treat you well. Yeah, I mean, I had a, what, like a 30, 40 minute drive up to uh, Chambersburg, but it, it was worth it. I mean, I, I stayed the weekend right. in the Wyndham again, so, but um, yep. Pam, thank you, and thanks, Steve, for joining us tonight, and I will. please. Thanks for having we love you guys. Keep love the, you guys. I can't wait to see you in keep, a couple weeks. Keep doing what you guys do. I mean, I know sometimes it doesn't seem like you know it's appreciated but trust me yeah, whenever yeah. we mention paranormal everybody thinks of pam and steve yep. barry we love you guys so much and thank you, you know, we, we you just guys, thank so. everybody that that works with you guys on this that volunteers and everyone knows who you are it's just so many people to mention and you know to uh all the people coming uh porter we're looking forward to seeing you again had a good time hanging last year dustin dan and dan and everybody mike, will mike see King. mike Lori, mel oh and Ray. the coffee ladies and, i loved yeah the, the coffee oh, ladies oh my god yeah. i loved the coffee ladies <laughs> yeah. last year but pam we will see you i will be in touch with you in a couple days god bless you both keep doing what you do and we love you guys Sounds good. We love yous. Bye. Right. One love, everybody. Thanks for having us. Peace out. Bye. You've been listening to Step Into the Paranormal with Ernie Atwell and David Seiler. Thank you for listening, and listen in next week for another topic and more great guests. Right here on WLFE DB Radio Network. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
for a second. Let me end that. What do you think? Disconnecting. Wait a minute. Disconnect. Obviously. Stop. When.